side by side through the first turn. Roberts still trying to close ground. Up they come now, number 12, Booty goes to the inside, cuts over to the middle. It's Mike Kidd, number 72, on the outside, and Kidd is holding Booty. In that race for second place is number 42, Moorhead, drops all the way back. There's a bump by Booty, tapping the rear wheel of Mike Kidd. A bump was big enough as Booty, the 18-year-old youngster on the Holly Factory team, moves by. The previous lap, now in slow motion, shows short track racing to be intense, violent, and quite often brutal. Even good friends off of the track, Ted Booty, Harley's rookie rider, and Mike Kidd will battle inch for inch on the track, neither giving any advantage or quarter. Again, the 250 Harley shows its strength. Neither does Springsteen give an inch to the competition. I asked his tuner, Bill Werner, about Springer's confidence in his machine. Oh, he, he has a lot of confidence in, in the machine. He, he, he says that uh, he doesn't worry about it. He just races it as hard as he, as he can, and if it breaks, it breaks, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. And so far, it hasn't broke. You know, he's just been, uh, believe me, he rides it as hard as he can, too. And if there's somebody that could ride one harder, I've never seen one. Number one on the Harley Davidson goes down the back chute and the race for second place continues. But as Ted Booty now has broken away to give it a one-two Harley Davidson run, Texas Mike Kidd is running third, and California Steve Eckman trying to come up to the number four spot. Kenny Roberts, number two, a former Astrodome winner, still running in the number five position. Squaring off the corner, it's a side-by-side -side race for number six spot with number 62, Corky Keener, and the early leader, number 42, Steve Moorhead, coming off that far turn. Keener trying to get the advantage now, and he does, as we're coming down now very shortly to the checkered flag here in the 11th annual running, and round number two on the Camel Pro Series, checkered flag is out. So the final statistics read, first, Jay Springsteen, Michigan, Harley-Davidson, second, Ted Booty, Michigan, Harley-Davidson, third, Mike Kidd, Texas, Penton, fourth, Steve Eklund, California, Yamaha, Fifth, going to Kenny Roberts, California on another Yamaha. And sixth, to Corky Keener from Michigan, Harley-Davidson Mounted. And again, Harley-Davidson was there. And it was as much a victory for Bill Werner as it was for Springsteen. The Harley-Davidson factory is proud of its young number one rider, Jay Springsteen, just as it is with the success of its new 250cc two-stroke machine. In all honesty, it's just a God-given gift plus determination. The motorcycle goes along for the ride, but it's, uh, I'd like to think it's the best we can do for him. And uh, he certainly makes it look like the best out there. I think it's just a little faster and a little bit more reliable. And uh, it's consistent. It'll just be there all the time. <laughs> 